Hey, let me show you a little tip. So over here I have a MIB1 high unit and it's over here on bench, there's no ignition signal. This means that when you turn it on, you have about 15 minutes or so before it will go back to standby mode, to sleep mode, because this is how this works without the ignition on signal over here. And if you want to update maps in this unit on bench, which will take about 45 minutes or so, there's a way of doing that. So first of all, you want to download the maps and you will get them on meephelper.com. Just enter your software train over here, which you can get from the hidden menu. Let me show you this if, you, if you've never done this before. Press and hold the menu button for about three seconds. Go over here to software download version and here's your software train version. So you take this, place it over here, press go and you can scroll down to uh, maps. You have maps over here and we have 23 slash 24 European maps over here that you can download. So let's check if maps on the unit are older than this. So go to navigation, select setup, go to version information and we can see that we have 23 maps. So those are a little bit older than the most recent ones. So you can download this package. It's 26 gigabytes. And when you have this downloaded, you can extract it. Here's the package. Those are the old ones. Here's the new package. And when it's extracted, you want to place it on an SD card. So this is how it should look. Yeah, you should have the MIP1 and MIP2 folders as well as the MetaInfo2 uh, uh, file directly on the SD card or USB drive. Let me just show you that this is the content of the package. Those three things needs to be here. This is just a um, file that you should not see. And right now what we can do is press over here to safely, safely remove uh, the SD card from the, uh, from the computer. We can remove it, place it in SD1. We can go back from this screen and usually you would uh, um, you would go over here, yeah, to update, and you would select the update. And uh, as I said, after 15 minutes or so, if you are doing this on bench without the ignition on signal, unit will um, go to standby mode and it will pause the installation. And this would happen a couple times uh, because the uh, update is so large that it will take several several minutes, yeah. So we are not going to do that. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Let's press and hold the menu and we will update those maps from the uh, hidden menu instead. So let's go to update. Let's select SD card over here. MIP1 navigation database. It should show us all the uh, countries that are included in this update. And uh, one more thing that's uh, cool over here, instead of the, oh, let me just find it, yeah, navigation database, and we have all the countries, instead, instead of the simple progress bar in the standard update, in the consumer update, uh, you will see uh, individual countries that are being updated. Okay, so let's go back and let's press start and next. And I believe right now we can see that we have 94 things to flash and we will see the individual thing that's actually uh, being flashed at, at the moment. Oh, okay, and system will reboot. So it will go into software update mode. It will not stay in the operational mode. It will go into the software update mode. And this is why it will not go into standby while the update procedure is uh, 
uh, ongoing. Yeah. In standard mode, there's this timeout. You have this 15 minute window before it goes back to sleep. And in the software update mode, there's no uh, timeout. So it will stay, uh, even without the ignition on signal, it will stay and it will update it until it's done. And then it will reboot. Okay, so let's give it a couple more seconds just to see that it's actually doing its thing. It can take a couple seconds, so uh, just be patient, don't press anything, just keep waiting, watch the display and it will do its thing. You don't have to do anything right now, just wait patiently. So it's starting right now. And as I said, all you have to do right now is wait. A couple of minutes into the update and right now we are in Bulgaria and this is how this looks. Each country is installed individually. Right now Croatia and so on. And it will go like this for about 45 minutes and after that unit will reboot and you will be pretty much done. Just like every other firmware update, uh, you will have to just press OK to confirm the um, installation. Unit will reboot into normal operation mode and that will be it. Okay, so thanks. See you soon.